This is a demonstration I do after I have covered uh, molar heat of vaporization, heat of fusion, and we've talked a little bit about the famous equation, energy equals mass times delta T times specific heat. I want to see if the kids kind of get a feel for it, really understand what's going on. So I invite a student up, like this young man right here, right. Mr. Okay. Duane. We're going to liven up this dull subject. To we are. We're going to see if uh, have a little contest between oh. you and me, and there's a prize oh. for the person that can hold their balloon over the candle the longest. Now, I want you to hold it right over the hottest part. Okay, now you're saying, but my flame's bigger. Okay, okay, I'll switch. Or do you mind or do you care? Uh, I'll win either way. I know, I know. You're at your wick's yes. end. Yes. All right, so on the count of three, we're going to lower the balloon. I don't think I'd lower that part. Right over the flame. Holy. Oh, I never got there. I know, I know. But once you've got a college degree, you can hold that balloon in there for a oh. long period of time. Okay. Gee, I'll have to go to college then. You, <laughs> with luck, you got to pass my course first. Oh. Okay. That's pretty amazing. Actually, I've sort of cheated. Now, you know I'd never do that with you. But what's in this balloon, can you see what's in there? Well, there's something flashing around. It's about this high in there. Yeah, there's a little bit of water. And there's something else cool. Look at on this balloon. There's a little bit of soot. The reason this flame is yellow is because we have incomplete combustion of the carbon that's in there, and that's causing the yellow flame. If you have a nice blue flame, you're getting much better combustion. So what's going on with this balloon? And perhaps you can see the water better in there. I don't know if you can focus on that, guys. You see the water in there? I can see it better. Yeah. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this puppy. And you can see the soot showing up better on here. Here I use the darker balloon so the students wouldn't see the water. And don't blow it up too much or they'll be able to see it. And what's happening is water has a very high specific heat. It's a good heat sucker upper, if you will. It also has a high heat molar heat of vaporization. So it can absorb lots of energy per gram. And then when it's boiling, it can also absorb lots, absorb lots of energy per gram, which is why we use it in radiators and cars, because not because it's cheap. Well, that's one thing, trust me. But the other thing is it has such a very high specific heat. Okay, And again, you see the unburnt carbon on the bottom of this balloon much easier than you do on this one here. 